It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood A beautiful day in the neighborhood Radiation everywhere There's no water left in the neighborhood In the middle of a drought in this neighborhood Shit is too dry I just made that up What up? And so in a world apart We are really really close to 300 which probably would give me an achievement. Hold on a second. Who we got here? Loose I Lou. wish you a lovely day. I'm glad to be able to be back here again. Boop. I've packed a fantastic. There we go. Super deal. <laughs> just got to keep him happy, man. That's all. That's all. I should have done that from the beginning. And that way I could just constantly could have got a whole lot of uh, uh, awesome shit for, you know, early, early, early on in the game. Here we go. So today we're going to continue expanding this uh, deal over here. Um... I, another tip left in the comments, by the way, um, from several episodes back, uh, was that I could use these uh, these uh, irrigation plants to keep trees and shrubbery uh, running during a uh, a drought. And I was like, "That's fucking genius! <laughs> that's just fucking genius! Like that's amazing!" Now we don't have to have a ton. We can just put like one right in the middle. Like everybody's working right here, right? So we just put like one right smack dab in the middle. Um, we could do the same over here in these other areas. Look at this perfect little circle right here. What's interesting is, are they... Huh, I wonder if that's just the way that they work. Because they tend to work in circles, right? So that must be the center of the forester. Let me see. Contamination. That's going to be one of these buildings. Look like one that's going to work. I promise. Yep, look at that. Huh, interesting. We know that they work from the ends from the middle out. So, yeah, they must have been chopping from the middle out. You can see that they're, uh, they're axe marks there. That might just be the perfect spot to place them. Let's go ahead and place them right now. But that's a, it's a great idea just to kind of keep the keep those people working uh, during those uh, periods of time. Let me see. Let's drop them like right in the middle. Boop. Another one here. Shut a boop. And another one over here. Shooby doo wop boop. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> we have to increase the workforce there, but still, uh, this no problem. Uh, we'll keep the, the, the irrigation specialist or something. Oh, I forgot this was coming. Dang it. Uh, we also have a call to take. Uh-oh. Thing is gone. There we go. We've arrived, Chief. Here we go. It doesn't yeah. look as if everything's already been looted here. Ooh, After okay. the catastrophe, people probably weren't able to do a thing with the machinery at first. Our technician's already rubbing his hands with glee. Where do we start, Chief? That's why we brought a technician. Let's see. Find a way inside. Wait, there's uh, two different ways. Okay, find a way inside. The building is caved on one side. We should probably be able to get... And look around without any problems. Let's see, but not all of us are what you would call youngsters anymore, and the climb is definitely going to be strenuous. Oh, I should have brought. Oh, I should have brought some young. I thought I saw some young folks too. Did it cost me like two? Whatever, they made it up. <laughs> see, uh, six letters got a badge. Um, see, the fact is, despite our tools, a tough piece of work, chief, and we had weeks of time. It's good. Uh, bet we'd be able to recycle even more. As it is, at least we've taken one of our boiler tanks apart. Some good metals. Next, Let's see, um, locked. Let's see, what is it? A uh, oh, the roof is locked. Okay, pro bar. It took a while, but eventually the door gave way with pure muscle power. Wouldn't have gone anywhere. All right, brought some strong people. Let's see, we're standing in the middle of a production hall now. Probably no one's. Okay, okay, okay. What should we take a closer look at? Let's see what our options are. Wow, one, two, and three. This is a big. Wow, we brought twelve um uh, points for them, so. What do we got? We got some plastic, uh, we have some scrap, and we have some metal. Awesome. Ooh! Oh! A huge pipe system is hanging down from the ceiling that leads to the well outside. No idea what you need that much water for. We're not able to dismantle it, Chief, but we've made a drawing. Maybe our researchers can do something with it. Ooh! So this gives us a better pipe system. Well shafts are built um, uh, more accurately using this technology to result wells and electric water pumps can be placed Closer together to each other without their working areas mutually influencing each other's productivity when obtaining water. Damn. Well, now we get condensed, we can make a water farm, basically. I mean, I don't know if it's like, like they could be right next to each other, but still. I mean, a water farm sounds great. A well farm. All right, option completed. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Yep, where you go? We got what? We got uh, well, lots of stuff. and a knowledge. We got a knowledge. Here we go. This is a haul. This is gonna take more than one trip, I feel. Some more electronics. We don't really need electronics right now, so if we end up leaving that, I'm not gonna be upset. Let's 
go back, back, progress. Let me see. Let's see, look at the, uh, uh, look, look down the hall. Let me see what should I got first. Let's see, I see all, all emblazoned with export prohibited solely for national use and thick red letters. Crates wrapped in plastic. Crowbar. We've opened up a few of the crates. Uh, a piece of cake with a crowbar. So we got some cloth. Cool. We'll use some, always use more cloth. Pry it open. We got some wood. Okay. Don't really need one. Let's go back. So there is another thing we are not done here. Let's see. Let's go and flip through. There it is. Oh, there's a couple things here. Oh. Are you telling me? Hmm. Okay. So because... Oh, they did. Okay. They had to try it more than once. Um, oh, because they're old. That's why. Because they're old, they uh, they needed more than one action point to get up. They had to stop and take a break. <laughs> That's great. See, we're standing in the middle of the production hall now, Chief. No one's been here for a while. What the heck? Hold on. What? This takes us back to the same spot. Are we 100% now? Oh my god, we're 100%. <laughs> I think they were led at the same place. Oh man, I guess those things are just there. So if you want to take a shortcut or something, uh, just send send the kids up there, let them do it. All right, let's see. Uh, metal. Let's try to haul the metal back. See scrap. Uh, let's see plastic. Plastic. Yes. Cloth. Yes. Wood. Nah. I mean, if we could carry everything else, we will. Let me see this and this. Oh my god, really? Well, oh, that's amazing. I guess we brought a ton of people here. Um, let's go. Cool. Excellent things to look pretty crappy down here <laughs> uh, let me see how's our well keeps well keep 13 out of 13 sweet oh I haven't built them yet so that number will uh, fluctuate a little bit so we have damaged buildings a few <laughs> we have uh, plenty of builders I think let me see we have five okay well well we uh, see 63 oh man Food and water is doing pretty good. Obviously, right now it's not because it's drought. Um, but I wonder if it might be almost time for us to make a few more houses to make a few more kids, right? Get some more people in here. Are we stable? Let me see. Population-wise, we are... So we had a spike, obviously. Yeah, because we brought in some folks. Or no, we... Um, yeah, we brought in 61 people or something crazy. And then... Um, We've been steady since then. So we were pretty steady before. So I say we, yeah, we go ahead and build a few more houses, uh, get a few more kids in the ovens. What, what is the term? Buns in the oven? Not yet. I don't want to put kids in the ovens. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> what's the fucking term for that? Um, and then, then we can, you know, eventually get ourselves some more workforce. But where do we put them? We have a lot of work stuff like way out here in the boonies. And I don't know if like these shelters and these houses over here are really going to be supportive of that. Like building more over here. I mean, how many people work in each one of these? Four? Oh boy. That's a lot. Yeah, you know what? Maybe putting houses over here makes sense. Uh, we also pretty hard to provide the best possible welcome to our new settlement. Oh yeah, we did do that. Yes, exactly. Those tasks that we were totally paying attention to. Um, great. <laughs> we produced all the hard liquor they wanted. <laughs> that was part of their demands. I love it. Okay, let's build some houses. Let's figure out where we want to put them houses. Uh, can I squeeze them in here, I wonder? I don't think so. How awesome would that be? Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, that would be so great if I could squeeze in houses in here, but no, I didn't plan ahead for that. Uh, sad. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, you need to have... Bummer, 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 bummer. Just one, one, one thing short, shorter. I can squeeze them and have houses in the middle of my field here. I wonder if, you know, I wonder if I should just redo those. That way I can squeeze them in, right? Because there, there's tons of people working these fields. So it's like one, two, three houses here. One, two, three, or maybe two, whatever. Two over here. I mean, that's six houses just across those, you know, two, two, two. And then, you know, maybe squeeze a couple here if you want to. I think it's probably worth it, worth the effort in uh, tearing this thing down and uh, like this tomato field here, right? So let's go and just demolish it and then we'll rebuild it. They're, they're really easy to just redo. So tomato fields, uh, I was like thinking like, does tomato grow on trees? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back this out one more. There we go. And we'll say tomato. 
two seed. Okay. Then we can put houses here. Sturdy houses, of course. Look at that. One. Put a gap in the middle. Nice, nice little gap there. Location attractiveness. Better be good. Dang. We'll do the same thing here. What is this? Uh, potatoes. Boom. Then we'll also put these first here. A little space in between. There we go. This gap kind of weird. Oh yeah, I was going to say, it should be lined up here. I'm going to stop that one. Then build it again. So we got what? One, one, two, space. Okay, is this thing not 15 by 15? Or is this one not lined up perfectly? This is lined up here. Oh, is there a gap here? Sure is. Okay, there we go. That's a problem. We got, we got, it's got, not it's be perfect. It just has to be perfect. That's all. <laughs> it's all I'm asking. What was this potato field? Let's go ahead and rebuild. The guy that's already grown over and it, it's paused. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let it go. Two speed, two speed. All right, potato field. Potatoes definitely grow on the ground. 15 by 10. Perfect. Choose potato. Look at that. We got some great little houses out. Little house on the prairie. So we got some cherry trees. Let's go ahead and uh, harvest now. See if they'll, they'll chop down the trees. This one might take a little bit longer to get. I know that some, you know, especially according to some of you guys and also just through like, you know, just trial and error. I know that some of these, um, like some fields just yield better, more food, you know, per. So like it'd be worthwhile to invest in certain types of trees, certain kind of orchards, certain kind of uh, fields or whatever early game. But at this point, I'm just trying to have one of everything, you know, <laughs> like I just want to have just the most robust, uh, you know, collection of fields by everything. Okay, yeah, get them all the foods and everything, and then we're gonna chop them down. Come on. Come on. Production limit. Is that the problem? It's probably the problem, isn't it? Okay, fine. Yeah, that was the problem. <laughs> Let's go to 45. Hurry up quick before somebody else takes and somebody else collects resources. Are those bodies over there? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Hold up. Hold on, what the fuck? Those are bodies, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed! <laughs> oh my god, there's bodies everywhere! Oh my god, what happened? Hold on, when did this happen? This is not new, they've been there, right? Let me see, uh... Let's just filter everything out. I just gotta see deaths. 298, 298, 297, 297, 297. Okay, okay, the problem is that we just don't have enough morticians to pick up bodies. Dang, dude, that's a lot of bodies. And people are chilling with that? They're okay? The location attractiveness is great? It's just dead bodies all over the place? Wow. I don't know what to say. I just know it. I was like, what are these things in the fields? <laughs> okay. We definitely need to build houses out here. I feel like this is a, this is a mix of like old age. Can I click on them and see their names? No. <laughs> They're just nameless. Okay, let's hurry up and get this thing done. Okay, I'm done waiting. Boop. Okay, <laughs> I'm just done. We have to, we have other problems to solve. We got to clean up the dead. Doesn't he just like run around in a with a with a with a bin and just you know just yell bring out your dead? Come on, come on. All right, let's build the houses first because I don't remember the size now. Sturdy houses, one, and then a one two gap. Oh, bam! Oh, it's so sexy. This is gonna bring us a whole lot more people, but hopefully it brings a. Uh, more uh, efficiency out here. We have people that probably live on the other side of the lake coming over here and just dying. Oh my god, there's so many bodies. I don't know how long they've been there for. They're underneath the fields. It's just like this is just like what is this like? Like the Ozarks. <laughs> it's just like that. If you ever see that show. Oh man. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Oh, don't they have a new season coming out? God damn, that show is so good. The show is intense. Jason Bateman is is like, you know, he's typically hilarious in everything he does. He's got such great comedic timing. But this is not a comedy. This is not a comedy at all. It's so good. Definitely something to check out if you're into um 
kind of like Breaking Bad style dramas, right? Super, super good. Called the Ozarks. All right. Um, let's check. Our, let's, let's just off curiosity. I want to check my population. Okay. I mean, yeah, those, those are new bodies, basically. Oh, we have uh, an epidemic now. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's fine. We have tons of medicine, so I'm not worried about it. We have tons of room. Uh oh, let me let me upgrade this. Uh, there's a school over here that's like, that's low tech. Yeah, this guy here. Yeah, see, that's a problem. Let's upgrade a school. There's plenty of children in class. We have to build another school at some point. And let's go over here, and we're going to. Okay, okay, we have a bunch of things we're trying to do at once. Uh, let me see what she got. <laughs> Nothing for me. Let's just give her. There we go. That Give her a couple isn't... shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> it just throws some shrooms. She's so happy. Um, well keeps. So we ever upgrade our well keeps or our well keep count? Okay, I guess it did. Okay, mortician. Okay, that's the problem. We have a lot of bodies. We also, but we don't have um, a lot of room for the bodies. And oh, also, it's outside of the sphere of influence. <gasps> okay. Wait, does that mean that there's bodies out here too? Like, if anybody died in the history of this game. Yep. Oh my god. <gasps> I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed. I mean, for how long? For how long have there just been bodies strewn about outside of this thing's influence? I mean, I mean, probably like, even, even like right in the edge, like someone could have just barely made it, you know? Look at. <laughs> You almost made it, man. You were so close to the line. Look, if you just crossed that line, you could have had a home. Oh, man. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, dude. Yeah, there's just dead bodies all over the place. Okay. Okay. Well, now we know um, that this is the accumulation is a thing. So let's uh, change the... Does it highlight the bodies, I wonder, when you hover over them? That would be sick. That's what it should do. Oh, it does. Oh, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Look, look. That's all bodies. That's all by. What is this? Oh my God. Look at this walkway. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. They're not even doing a good job getting the bodies out of here. Look at this mess. Okay, let's put them over. <laughs> oh man, this answers so many questions. Okay, let's see. You're gonna be in charge of like uh let me see. Oh, there's no manpower over here for that. I gotta I gotta set those buildings up. Um just wanna get just just do like in your area, I guess. And then we'll have to figure out the rest. Probably, I bet he's unhappy because there's dead bodies everywhere, dude. I mean, let me, I'm just, I'm just making a guess. Oh, two people are unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been a thing, but. <laughs> this fucking alley right here, dude. Look at this. I am just, look at, are you, are you sad? Let me, this person's standing here. Are they sad? Let me see. Are you sad? Nah, you chill. Oh, yeah. Super positive. Super positive. Man. Maintain that attitude, guy. <laughs> oh, Beverly. Oh, Beverly. Oh, man. How, how, died of old age. Oh, 317. Oh, that's just another living person. Damn, Raymond. You must be, you must be on death's bed, on your death bed if it's going to you. Um, <laughs> let me see if I click on another one. Oh, it was Beverly, Beverly was dead for sure, right? Okay, I guess not all bodies can be clicked on. So it doesn't mean there's 317 bodies anywhere, everywhere. Oh, okay, so we're making more kids. We're gonna move at a slow pace here. We're making more kids. We are gonna increase the workforce over here. Workforce. This is make. Uh, there we go. This one for all of them. Is it? Oh, irrigator is okay. I was looking at well keep. Duh. Yeah, irrigator. We're gonna have to build a few more. I mean, obviously. Uh, I say we start building out here. What is it? Logistics? We're moving bodies, right? So it's kind of logistics, isn't it? <laughs> There's some logistics involved with it. Uh, probably what, decorations. I don't know where the hell what category is it in. Uh, community, community, of course. Duh, community, community. Oh, look at this. Oh, this one's gonna be full like immediately. That's cool. You know, we'll put this here. Um, it'll be a nice little addition to our little farm town. And then we'll build another one out here. 
we squeeze this guy in somewhere. Let um, me see. That water irrigator would reach kind of far, but we can put this. I guess I'll put it out here. Kind of an awkward place. Can I squeeze it in here, though? Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. It's fine. We do need another one, though. Let's see. That one's going to be built there. Should we put them side by side? Fuck it. Right? Yeah. It'll be like a uh, coma. Because some of you guys probably never heard of coma. Uh, I didn't know about coma until I moved here. Um, coma is uh, where historically they used to take all the dead bodies and all of the, like, you know, if you just die or, you know, pandemic or some shit. Uh, and they used to take it to this little city just outside of San Francisco called coma. So coma is, um, I think where it's like the, like the dead outnumber the population or something by like a lot or something. Let me see. Uh, coma... De dead population. Let me see. Uh, around 1.5 million. So the town was founded as a necropolis in 1924 with most of Coma's land dedicated to cemeteries. The population of the dead, not specifically known, but spe spe speculated to be around 1.5 million, outnumbers that of the living by a ratio of nearly a thousand to one. So yeah. We're going to build a little Coma out here. Perfect. And we have to up the workforce on these guys, too, because they're going to be busy getting bodies. Okay, now first, we need to start, yeah, we need to start putting some overlaps here. Like, you know, we're probably some big overlaps. It's a dead body all the way out here in the forest. Damn, son. Uh, are we in a drought? Or are we coming out of a drought? Right, season 300, hey! Season 300, oops. Um, okay, we want to keep that there. Then we'll put another one. This one could stay maybe local. No, no, no. It's a little further. So we'll... Oh, no, 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 no. Keep going. I'll build it next. That's fine. Doesn't take much to build these things. Just land and, you know. Let's see. So I'll probably put overlap over here. I imagine this was probably full, right? Yeah, this one's full now. Hmm. Okay. So let's take this one and we'll, we'll scooch it down a little bit. A little scooch, everybody like that. Oh my god, I can't believe so many dead. So many dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this thing's paused because we don't have any seeds for it. Somebody just pulled up. Let me see who's this. This guy again. Do we not have hair? This guy is such a nerd. Do we not have hairs? Oh, we do not. Well, guess what. What do you want? What do you want? Make a fair deal. Propose a fair deal. Medicine? Fucking fine. Great. Bring me something else later. Let's see scrap. Oh, we gotta keep scrap. Okay, good. Good. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's one how you said at the beginning of the game. <laughs> we were not friends. Let's see. Okay, so we have 100 kids right now. So our our... Our expansion has definitely helped. We have a drought coming. A real drought this time. Yeah, our expansion has helped quite a bit. This thing is, uh, okay. This one is, okay. Is there a gap anywhere? Kind of. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. That's pretty well covered. Amazing. Amazing, dude. Can you believe it? Can I do that bullshit where I just, like... Break down. I think we tested this already, right? Where you just like break down this and then rebuild on top of the same one, and you could just like, and, and they'll just, you know, pretend like there's nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> uh, we seven are on our third. <laughs> uh, let's go to get into the expedition going here real quick. Um, let me see. Was there anything here? No, there's nothing here. Oh, a diner. Hmm. Shit. Did we do this one already? No, I don't think so. Seller's badge, explorer badge, okay. I call that a ruin chief. Okay, yeah, yeah, we haven't done this one yet. Um, seller badges. Not a lot. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and take the top five here. Okay, good. And lots of action points. Ten, maybe twelve. It's a factory, so it might be kind of big. Alright, cool. We're gonna clean up this map. Are they done with that trade? No, they're still not done with that trade. Almost, though. 
I want to make sure that we jump on that. Yeah, it's the only animal we don't have. There it is. Ark Noah. Aha! That must be because I have them all. Ha 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 ha! Look at that. That's sick. Look at that. I have everything now. Well, done with that. We can always move those somewhere else if we want to, but I feel like we're probably good to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you guys going to build this road ever? I mean, we don't have a lot of guys, and we've been keeping them pretty busy, so maybe not. Well, once those 100 kids, one third of our entire workforce, people force, human force, whatever, uh, that's going to make a, it's going to help a lot. Look at these. Wow. Incredible. I cannot believe it. It's so funny. That is so funny. I should leave, you know what I should do? Just for a future thumbnail or something like that? I should leave a gap right around, like, like basically right around this, so that way bodies like pile up right here, because over hundreds of seasons, like you're gonna have bodies pile up right here if there's no body, if there's nothing to, uh, uh, no one to collect. They'll just happen to I die there. You a lovely day. Dang it, I'm glad you to again. Be able to be back here again. Fantastic. Wait, hold on, what does she have, hold it's on. A fact that one can always She's got masks. I don't really need, but... Might be worth it, plastics. I don't need electronics. Don't, uh, metal tools. Don't really need, I don't need any of these things, really. But... It doesn't hurt to have some more masks on hand. And she wants medicine? Fair. Medicine and wood. Things we can just make a ton of. It's a fact that one can always do good- Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we have uh, high tech school going. Kids are getting hecka smart. 22, 30 kids. This is probably full over here. Uh, nope. Why? You know what we should do? Something I meant to do a long time ago, which is start to upgrade these things. You know? You know what, though? Before I do that, now that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna forget that now, by the way. Uh, let's go over here because are we up to maximum knowledge. Yeah, we are. So let's go ahead and spend some. Non-defense measures, not really worried about that still. Hemp weaving mill. One knowledge. Takes, uh, it won't take long at all. As a matter of fact, yeah, might as well. Might as well do that, start the research. And then we'll come around, we'll get diligence, and then we might as well go ahead and go down the defenses, barricades, siren tire, and all that good stuff. So we can start arming our dudes. But we don't even have a proper mind to get stuff, right? Yeah. Radios guys there, here we go. Not much left standing in the building. Upper floors have caved in, but we've taken the ground floor. Okay, let's go. How's it looking there? Everything's pretty run down, no wonder. With no protection at all against the weather, I can't imagine that anything, any pickings left on the cave, uh, on the caved in upper floors. Let's look in the kitchen. Even signs of, of the, with the dishes offered here. So pumpkin soup, that would be just the right pick me up right now. Oh, 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 dang. Oh, 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 yes. Dang, so we got it, right? We removed electronic components. Then we built an old fridge. Seems that it turned out to be a piece of cake for our technician. But hey, wait a second. We nearly overlooked a hatch in the floor that was buried under all the dust and grime. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Here's a small plastic box with those little electronic devices lying inside. Yeah, right. They were called smartphones. And there's some jewelry, too. The jewelry's pretty nice. But these smartphones are well, so well preserved. It's a sure thing uh, they could be useful. The hatch seems to lead to a basement. Maybe there was once a storeroom or okay, yes, go to, might as well go ahead and clear it out. We see a cellar bench, veg. Let's see, okay, cool. Is there anything else to do down here? Nope. We already uh, did that. Got some scrap. Oh, we got what? Kitchen already done. Back. I think that's 100%. Yep, 100%. Beautiful. Now we can move down to the next tier. Oh, snap. Oh, so it begins. Loot and return. Loot and return. New research level. Let's go ahead and... Uh, you still here? Oh, this will bring you stuff. Okay. Oops. No, you. Still working on this. The wood and scrap. Okay. Let's just get to take time. Anyway, so dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> like the song. You see, why are you sad? Probably hungry. Oh, no dead bodies. Oh, there's dead bodies out here too? I would think I already have it covered-ish. 
It's a long trip for them to go, but... Um, cool, that deal's closed. Where am I at? Here I am. Houses, cranking out babies. Lots of babies. Water's looking good. Food is looking great. One person's got radiation issues. It's fine. This is... Where's my mask? What's her name? Uh, research performed. Haha. -ha. Okay. So now we have, um, a hemp mill. We can make that. I mean, ideally, I want to go through and make one of everything, right? So, the hemp mill would be on that list. For sure. <clears throat> Let's go and open up that research window. And look at this. Look at this. Kitchen. Upgraded shelter. Mine iodine. Scrap catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Cake and stew. See kitchen. You can transform a variety of simple things into yeah, whatever, dude. We have plenty of plenty of everything. Let's go and upgrade the shelters first though. We'll start that. It's gonna require what? Wood, scrap. Yeah, this is where all of our resources are gonna be dumped into right now for the foreseeable future. Tons of resources are gonna be devoted to that stuff. Uh and like I said, I'm gonna forget, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on it right now. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade some of these things. Um sturdy house. Oh, it is a sturdy house. Okay, that one is sturdy. So I did some of these. This is definitely not a sturdy house. So upgrade you. Upgrade you. Less uh, time and resources spent on rebuilding every single time a windstorm comes through. The whole neighborhood's gonna be gentrified. There we go. You two. Little hidden houses here. Let's take a peek. Um. Okay. See, are there houses out here? Did we put houses out here? I thought we put some. Well, maybe not. But maybe these these ones over here, though. Is that a house? No, it's a Forster's Lodge. Oh, I thought we put houses all the way out here. I guess not. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. For some of them, we did. Great. You. Let me see. Yeah, we'll come back around and do those. We have enough room right here. We can slide in another shelter if we need to, which is good. Okay, yeah, yellow's bad. This up, guy's upset. I think that's all the houses? There's one out here in the north, right? Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's it. I thought for sure there's another house, but once these things are all built, then, um... Do we only have 13 houses total? 13 cabins? Oh, you know what? I think it's uh, 13 cabins, not sturdy cabins. Yeah, okay. So once we um, <clears throat> once we upgrade all of these, well, then th we'll be able to find uh, uh, how many regular cabins we have. Pretty easily. Pretty easily. Woo, man. Oh. Boy, it's been exciting so far. <laughs> we got a couple minutes here. Let me see uh, what we could do. See what we could break. <laughs> Oh, it's sturdy. Oh, it's a sturdy house. Okay, that's why I knew I built some houses, but I guess the sturdy ones I pulled out here, which is nice. Nice little, uh, kind of nice little setup here. Scrap yard, you're out of scrap. Let's go ahead and check on all you guys. Make sure you guys are running. Yeah, I figured you guys are all out of scrap. You guys got to hoof it out here. There's probably bodies way out here too. Oh, how many do you have? You have? Oh, these have tons. Cool. We should put street lamps everywhere. Just kind of lighten this place up. You know? We have power everywhere. Why not? Let me see. But what we should do, actually, is... Let me see. Build that hemp mill. Let's see. Warehouse. Water point. Community. Housing resources, probably. Hemp weaving mill. This cloth from hemp. Put out here in the factory zone. What is that right there? Oh, that's the forum. Okay. Yeah, factory zone is probably chill. Let me see. Maybe over here. Over here. Pretty good spot. When was the last time oh, son of a bitch. Something? Go on. Give it a try. There's no feeling in the world like it. Crap. We have a double whammy here. What do they want? Ah. 
For water is at 18,000, huh? Hmm. Uh, let me see. They want to do contamination kits. They could take a bunch of those. Fine, take a hundred of those. Let me see. Don't want to take, uh, let's see. Well, they could take scrap tools. Oh, they don't really give me too much for scrap tools. Water. They could do a lot with water, but I'm kind of worried about that right now. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, take that. What a shame. There's no way I'm going to let them come through right now. After a windstorm. And we're like, look at this. And they're going to come through and just like damage a bunch of other stuff. That would, that would really destroy my economy. Uh, so sturdy houses are going to help a lot once all those are uh, are built. Drought. Let's take a look at our look at our little green zones. Oh, ooh, baby. Over here. A nice little perfect. See? So they can keep on working. I think that was Golden Zeal again, actually. Or maybe somebody else with a tip on that. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. How we doing on dead bodies? You know, working on it. Whoa, 48 out of 90, 49 out of 96. That's a lot. Oh, there's still so many more. There's, look at that. There's still so many more. This one's gonna get full. Can I make an upgraded one? You know, we're like, maybe we could put in like a two tier system or something. Like we'll bury some at like six feet deep and then like another batch at like three feet deep. You know, I think like that's something we should do just to maximize space. Why six feet deep, man? Is there a reason for that? Oh, they haven't seen this guy in a long time. Ooh, back again. Pecan. The fabulous one and only. One and only. Incredibly charming. That's Rusty right. Rose. <laughs> extra special just for you. Yep. Special. Neither sandstorm nor toxic cloud nor blood. Oh, I don't have any of those things. Can keep me from flim flamming my best customers. Uh, mm. Oh, uh, naturally, I mean from making them happy. Uh huh. Uh, cool. Yeah, we'll keep them happy. And now we have pecans. <laughs> I yep. So it means this is gonna be for pecans. Let's see where we're at here. Oh wait, no, pecans are trees. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait a minute, are they trees? I don't know. Let's see. I guess they are, huh? Nut tree, duh. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <sighs> oh god, in a pandemic too. You see, uh, see food. Pasture, no, uh, come on, pasture. Uh, put this here. 15 out of 15, 15, 15, beautiful. And that's gonna be a quote unquote built. Just gonna remove radiation. New seed found. Come on, y'all. There's only a few left. Let's do this and I get out of here. Zip, 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 zip. Oh, a bunch of people. There we go. Perfect. Two seed. Pecan. See, but we're getting really close. We're getting really close. Perfect. Pecan's gonna be growing out here. Um, I guess I should reshape this. I could put two more houses here if I, if I want to eventually. I'm asking, you know, I'm gonna do it right now. But I'm not gonna build the houses. So I'm just gonna reshape it by one. Or maybe we just won't build it at all right now because there's really no. I mean, I don't have the seed or anything for it, and it takes, and it's already uh, decontaminated anyway. So, all right, research is found. Perform on new technologies. Great. So now we have um, <clears throat> upgraded shelters. We'll upgrade the shelters as well. And then paved road, make them go faster. Oh, this is great. It's an electric water pump. Barricade, yeah, all that stuff will be last. We just got attacked, so hopefully we don't get attacked for a while. we we'll a kitchen next or a mining iron or a scrap, how do I scrap catcher? We def we have um, storms constantly, so I might as well go scrap catcher. Let that go. 96 out of 96. Woof. Woo, lad. Yeah. I could probably squeeze one more community right here. Oh god, I hate that. Oh, oh, really? Look at this. Look at this. Okay, maybe. Jeez. Maybe. Oh man. Yeah, this is fine actually out here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I want the line to be. That's fine. Oh, man. It's crazy how many dead people we have. Morticians. We have 65. I forgot about all them kids grew up. Dang. 
Okay, so let's let's we have farmer. Yeah, we need farmers. Let me see. Scrap collectors, tailors. I think we're fine in that department. Might as well go and max them out because we have the manpower. Let's see teachers. I don't think we really need to have that many teachers. Let me see. Militia, scout, builder. Let's go ahead and prop a bunch in builder. For repairs and such and upgrades. So 20 should be sufficient. We have a bunch of floaters too. And we have a lot of people now. We're pushing 500 actually. So yeah, a lot. Our sturdy buildings are built, but they need to be repaired or finished or something. Let's see how many regular normie houses do we have. Oh, they finished them all. Nice. Good job, guys. Huh. You finish, you see. Yeah, wow, that upgrade is super fast. And I also want to upgrade these. But they hold more, though, I think, right? Let's upgrade one. What's the oldest one? Probably one of these in the middle here, right? Like this guy here. Something like that. One of those. Um, Let's upgrade this. Let me see. What does it do? Number of occupants, 50. Oh, shit. Okay. What can I do? We're going to come back to that. That's a lot. What does this guy got? Sure Ooh! He's back again. He's back again. One and only. One and Incredibly only. Charming, Incredibly charming. Man, yeah, you, you, you said this before. Yeah. There we go. All right, well, we got another pepper. Um, Water is doing terribly, by the way. But that's a problem for another day. We're going to stop right there. Um, Actually, yeah, before we stop, though, I'm going to build this field for this pepper. Food. Little fields. Over one. Right? It's over one. Let me see. 15 by 11? Is that right? Oh, yeah, I think so. That's right. And let's try to squeeze a house in here. If we can squeeze a house in here, we're good. Uh, that's a nope. This is 15 by 10. Mm, stop. 15 by 10, complete field, so let's go over 2. Perfect. And then they'll come and remove that one piece. And that's going to be for our pepper. Which is going to be coming soon. All right, that's it. My name is Mike BAK Phony. End zone, a world apart. I'm just going to AFK here until this thing pops up and then we'll plan it. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to get everything. Everything unlocked. Everything being made. We'll get these dead bodies cleaned up. <laughs> Have a good night. See ya.